Hey there everyone, today's video is going to be a haul video and I'm going to be hauling some stuff that I've recently acquired from Shein.com and also Killstar. There are some items included in this that I got a few months back from Killstar but I've had a lot of questions about them on Instagram about what they look like, all of that stuff so I will include those in this haul so you guys can get a feel for that particular item. So first up I'm going to start with the stuff I got from Shein. So the first thing I got is this sweater and this was in their clearance section, it was like $7. So it's just a basic sweater with a cut out neck hole so it does kind of drape off one shoulder when you're wearing it. And it also allows for a bit more flow and just a more casual look. As you can see, it just has a basic pumpkin printed on the front. It's not a thick sweater, so it is more wearable throughout the year. I tend to find myself wearing it even now. Um, if it's a rainstorm or a hailstorm, and hail tends to bring down the temperatures a lot. I got that in a size large because I really wanted that oversized feel and yeah, I think all of the sizes have that oversized feel but I do not regret getting the large because I really like how big and baggy it is. The second thing I got from Shein, I got this because I'm obsessed with velvet. It is a red velvet blazer and I'm trying to work out a way to style this. I haven't yet because there's no real need for jumpers at the moment but I think as the weather cools down in a few months as we get into autumn, I will find a few uses for this. I, I really like it. I think it's it's a nice velvet, it's not that crushed velvet, and it's lined with a satin material. It also came with an extra button, but I think I'm going to replace the buttons anyway to something that's more suited towards um, how I'm going to style this. But this is actually quite good quality. Um, the velvet is not that crushed velvet that's really, really cheap. I just, yeah, I really like this. The craftsmanship was good. I got this in a size small, which it fits perfectly okay. If it was a full button up, I would not be able to button it around my chest area, but um, I plan on wearing this completely open anyway, and it doesn't have a full button up anyway. The next item I got from Shein is just a basic lace kimono, and I have quite a few of these because they are great to chuck over the top of any summer outfit to cover the shoulders because as you guys know I don't really like my upper arms and also to keep a little bit more sunlight off you. This is just kind of a basic kimono. One thing I don't like about it though is the cut of this, like the shape of it. Um, that's just my own thing. I didn't know how this one would look on me because I tend to buy ones that I can try on before I do purchase them. But it's a bit boxy, that's okay. I think I can alter it anyway when my sewing machine is fixed. So yeah, it's just a basic kimono so there's not really much more to say about it. Now moving on to the Killstar items. The first item I actually got a few months ago and it was in my last lookbook for Killstar. I think it's called Ghosting. But this handbag is called the Allegra handbag and I, I love this to death. A lot of people were really confused about this bottom zipper and the website didn't really show much about the configuration of this handbag. So this bottom zipper is kind of one of those ones that you put something um, flat inside like tickets or something that generally needs to stay flat because this particular pocket, while it does have a lot of room in there, um, it seems like it is made to keep something flat. So tickets, documents, whatever. Also you can see that um, on the front of the bag is this massive metal um, crescent moon as well as Killstar branding right there, all in embossed metal. And as you open up the bag, it's a magnetic clasp. There's a lot of room in there. That could easily fit heaps and heaps of stuff in there. Um, probably all the clothes that I'm going to haul for you today. It might be able to fit all of them if you crushed them all in. It does have a phone holder, which isn't really practical for iPhones. And then it has another slot next to it and another zip. It's it's a really, really handy bag. It's big, It's it's got everything you need, plus it has this strap. The next item is a wallet, and I've needed a new wallet for quite some time. I was going to buy the same one again because it's the Bats one from Band Apparel. I hauled it like two years ago, um, but this is the one I got now. I saw it and I freaking 
loved it. It's amazing. It's obviously a reference to Lydia Dietz from um, Beetlejuice Holy Hell. I nearly forgot that. But it's a, just a basic faux leather. Um, all Killstar stuff now is all vegan friendly. Um, so yeah, it's kind of shaped to an older style book. The corners have metal detailing to stop that fraying of the corners of the fabric. Also, the interior is quite decent. The amount of card slots you have. The only thing I don't like about this is that there's no license window or um, whatever they're called. Um, and I did see some people complain that there wasn't enough places for cash. Um, I do live in a cashless country, basically. I mean, Australia does have cash, but it's something like less than 10% of sales are made via cash, so it's not really um, something that is used in Australia anymore. I can't even remember the last time I saw a check. Um, they, were, they were phased out a long, long time ago. So it's practical for people who don't really use cash. Um, and obviously because I'm in one of those countries, um, this is very, very practical for me. I love this wallet. I don't use it as much as I want to. I tend to only use this on special events and stuff. I tend to wait until my wallet is practically falling apart and just about to self-destruct before I change over to my new one. So yeah, that's the in-depth explanation of that. Next up are a few clothing items that are not really practical for the weather at the moment in Australia, although I will be doing some photo shoots in them. Um, the first item is this dress. I can't really remember the name of it, but it features, it's completely black velvet. Obviously, Killstar velvet is incredibly soft and beautiful. It has the trumpet sleeves on either side. This one is more of a bodycon style as it's figure hugging. Um, this also has the tie up at the front that doesn't go too low that it reveals too much. Some of the Killstar items do go a little bit lower so they reveal a bit more cleavage than I'm honestly willing to show. And yeah, but this one is absolutely stunning. I love it, I can't wait. Till I can wear this out just yeah I also love the length of this it's perfect styling this will also be a breeze all you need is a pair of stockings and, and a killer pair of shoes and you're good to go beautiful the next item I got is also black velvet and looks similar to some other dresses I have but it is this and it's got cat hair on it at the moment another Wednesday items looking dress but this one has also got the bell sleeves. I love that Killstar has been absolutely going crazy with the bell sleeves and the trumpet sleeves because it's something that I, I've always loved. It, there's just something regal about that shape to a sleeve. Also it has more of a dramatic Wednesday Adams shaped collar than a lot of their other Wednesday Adams style dresses. This dress also has something a bit different that others didn't contain. The first being a little tie at the front, which gives it a bit more of that schoolgirl kind of vibe. And also this one has a little window at the front, which I have lovingly referred to in the past as a boob window. And the boob window doesn't really go down low enough to reveal that much cleavage. Again, something that I'm comfortable with like this. Also, this has a sewn-in panel at the front, so it does taper in to a semi-skater dress kind of style, but it doesn't have as much of a um, flowing material down the bottom to be a full-on skater dress. So another quality Killstar velvet piece. Love this. Also, we'll be shooting with this very, very soon. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this next piece um, a few times because I've worn it a lot, and it is this crop top. This is called the morgue top and it is a longer crop top than usual which I really really appreciate that has this skeleton print on the front and it buttons down the back and it may seem a little bit impractical to have something buttoned down the back but I thought at first I would have a lot of difficulties getting this on and off but I've been proven wrong. I can do this all by myself. And again this one has the white Wednesday Adams style collar but it has also the cuffing in white on either sleeve and also the white detailed buttons down the back. So yeah, another Killstar crop top, but I like the fact that it deviates from the regular crop top in the style, the aesthetic, and also the length is much appreciated. The second last item I have is this skirt, and this is the tarot skirt. This is a standard skater skirt. It is made of a, um, a different cotton than my last Killstar skater skirt. It's almost, it's a little bit thicker and um, 
And I really like that because I know that some people did uh, experience a bit of sheerness with the skater skirts that came out about three years ago. Also the waistband, I love it. I love the fact that they've just gone with the exact same material and also put a side zip down. I prefer it when skirts do have a side zip because it does allow you to get it on and off without stretching the waistband so much because elastic stretching and all of that, it's just one of those annoying things that I hate having to pull out elastics and put new ones into clothing. I really like that this one doesn't feature elastic and also has that ease of getting it on and off. The material that this is made of, obviously very flowy, it's a skater skirt. Skater skirts are known to be very flowy. Um, I do think that the sizing has changed a bit with the skirt since I last got one. I got this in my size small, I usually get size small from Killstar at the moment. But this is baggy on me, I had to safety pin it up at the back and I'm going to have to take about an inch off it, so yeah, um, I don't know if the sizing's changed or my waist got smaller or something, but something has changed from my other skirts. Also, I forgot to mention sizing about the other dresses, they all fit pretty much true to size. The one with the lacing down the front did fit a little bit on the tight side around my shoulders, which I don't really experience with size small, but with that dress I did. So I'd say that um, if you do have broader shoulders, keep that in mind and maybe go up a size or just be a little bit prepared to feel a bit of tightness around there. So the final item is my favorite item and the thing I've been wearing the most. A lot of you guys seem to like this as well, and it's a shame because I haven't really seen many people wear it, but it is this dress. And I can't remember the name of it, but it also came with a little badge that was here that said strange and unusual. It's but this is just a regular cotton dress that's black and white striped. It is horizontal striped, and honestly, I don't really pay attention to the people that think that horizontal stripes make you look bigger. I don't. I don't see a difference, honestly. But this dress has a black Peter Pan collar and it's there's no button, no zips to get into it because it is just a basic dress. It's just a stretchy cotton, extremely stretchy, very airy, very nice, very summery. And I like the fact that it can be transitioned into other seasons very easily as it is so light but also um, very stylable. Again, I got a size small, but I could have sized down just due to the nature of the material. If you are looking to get this and a size is sold out, you can probably think about sizing down because there's nothing restrictive about this unless you've got a pretty decent sized head. I mean, my head gets through this hole pretty darn well and I have a big buff head, so um, I don't think anyone would have real issues with that. So that is all for this haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'd love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you liked this haul. Comment down below if there's something you'd like to see on this channel. Also, what is your favourite item? And if you all have a fantabulous day.